I am once again asking for your financial support in using code OJ. Mmm, it's an orange juice. These are the balance changes for March 2020. The miner is getting a reduction in crown damage from 40% down to 35%. What does that mean? It means that his crown tower damage is reducing from 64 to 56. That's not very significant. But for minor chip decks, from 40 minor shovel hits, it's going to take 46 minor shovel hits. Basically, with poison in that equation, it means that you're going to have to send one more cycle of minor to end the game. Earthquake now hits underground Teslas, even though the physics for that is that underground structures go with the soil and earthquake should not affect underground tesla but hey from a visual standpoint it makes sense the goal of Ain't's damage is being reduced by 22.5 percent it's going from 53 damage down to 41 damage these don't really change too many interactions they're going to be a bit weaker it's going to take a bit longer to take out tombstones and other buildings resulting in them dying a little bit earlier and not connecting to the princess tower but that's not really that much damage basically that had to be done to balance out for their death damage their death damage will now once again take out spear goblins in two explosions but most importantly it's going to take out bats and skeletons in one golemite explosion each golemite will be able to take out skeletons that was a huge and very significant interaction when they changed it earlier on but again it just feels right that one single golemite can take out skeletons or bats now the cannon's getting a five percent damage increase from 167 damage to 175 damage what are these interaction changes well golemites dark prince sparky are all gonna die in one less hit but these interactions aren't very noticeable when it's being helped with the princess towers itself so you're not gonna notice too too much difference with the cannons for hog 2.6 just a little bit. The cannon cart is also getting a 5% damage increase from 168 to 176. This basically means it will do the same interactions with the cannon itself. The cannon cart will now take out the Dark Prince, World Giant, Sparky, Hunter, and one less hit. These interactions are a bit more noticeable because the cannon cart taking out these units without the help of a princess tower on the other side will result in it connecting to the princess tower a little bit more. So this is the dev build. By the time you watch the video, the balance changes are probably live. But what else changed in the maintenance break is that the arenas don't move anymore. So bask in the glory as this is the last video evidence ever of this nauseating arena. For the first deck, we're gonna use Minor Poison. For the second deck, I picked Golem Cannon Cart just so that there's a couple more balances in there. And the third one, I'm kind of changing it up a bit and I requested my opponent bring Tesla. I didn't tell him why. But I brought Earthquake for the Tesla, and we're going to be using the Roll Delivery with the cat with the Golems just for fun. We're going to see how it goes out. Oh, that arena is nauseating. We go for the safe Miner Plant. Never, ever poison in single elix. Oh my freaking heck. I think we both have Minor Poison. I think we were both thinking, oh no, shoot. Night Witch. Whenever there's a Night Witch, there's a Golem. He's got the poison on my Musketeer. If I lose, I'll have to use code OJ. Oh no. We'll let those bats kind of soak in the glory and take out the knight. Oh my goodness, he's got a cannon. All right, we're just gonna poison that then just because I don't really have anything else in rotation. I could have recycled ice spear. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll do ice spear to tank for the miner and we're sending in the skeletons. He's got a roll delivery. Oh my freaking heck. That was a very good counter. I've got to use poison on the Night Witch. That's, that's bad news all day, every day. I'm going to have to pull that Night Witch over just a little bit. The Golemites get taken out. That was a perfect poison. Did I have to use the log in there? Maybe. I don't know. It was a little scary. I don't think I absolutely needed it. My goodness. Use code OJ. You are aggressive. I don't want any more damage in the tower. Holy heck. He's got a cannon. All right. Knight's going to be tanking for my miner. He's going to have a Night Witch to counter my miner. Maybe. No Night Witch. I can dig that. Do an Inferno Tower in the other lane. Oh my heck. He's got cannon cart. It's going to take out things a little bit faster. Let's wait for it to cross first. That's the thing. Oh shoot. Freaking heck. Oh, he's got clone. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do a double. Oh. I didn't mean to do a double inferno. That was a misclick. I meant to do a musketeer down there. I didn't even have musketeer in rotation. He's got a roll delivery there. I don't like that. Let's do a musketeer in the other lane. We're gonna do a premature poison. Oh my heck. Get that miner off my tower. He's got he's got clone cheese. It's actually working. I don't like this. 
Let's keep that Night Witch in there just a wee bit longer. Oh my gosh. He put the Golem right on top. I misplayed my Inferno Tower. Oh, shoot. That's it. I misplayed the Inferno. That's it. Let's just take my tower. You saw it here first. Minor Poison is no longer viable. So Minor Poison is one of the hardest skill cap decks to play in the game. If you make a single mistake, you generally will lose to your opponent. And I made three mistakes. If I didn't make any mistakes, I would have won this match. But honestly, it didn't feel like there was much difference with Minor Poison. Just, I just would have had to cycle one more rotation. And, and using that logic... I could have defended the golem a little bit harder. Even if the miner itself doesn't chip away at the tower, the tiebreaker, I felt like I would have won that eventually anyways if I didn't make any misplays, but I made like 10. All right, so we're going to be doing golem with cannon cart. We saw the action of that. Was there a difference? I didn't really feel a difference. I'm going to rush baby dragon. Don't rush. Why do I always rush? Why do I do this? Oh gosh, this is a 2.6. I know it. Oh my goodness. That's a really good Valkyrie there. Let's defend with the cannon cart and see how that goes for us. He's going to take out the Electro Wizard for sure. Oh, that's beautiful. Come on, counterattack. Yes! Valkyrie doesn't connect. Cannon cart's so strong. Confirmed. Cannon cart takes out the cannon. Oh my heck. He brought Earthquake. I'm down way too much Elixir to do a Golem right now. We're going to have to Tornado, tornado that uh, Hog Rider. Ooh, that was terrible. So... The Earthquake did get a slight buff, but I didn't bring Tesla. I brought Elixir Collector that I can't even use. Hard countered. Code OJ is cheating. Oh, freaking heck. That's a lot of damage on there. At least the Cannon Card is tanking for the Mega Minion, so he had to do something about that. But just because I don't have anything. Oh, this is bad. We're gonna have to pull that out of the way there. That's some pretty big ouchies. He's gonna have bats, but those bats will die to golemites. If I do I even want them to, do I even want the golemites? I just want it to connect. Oh my heck. I think this is this is it. This is where we connect. It's a lot of bats. I don't like it. The cannon cart's still alive, though. I feel like I didn't really notice anything for the cannon cart. It was great. You don't know if it was better. Did it feel better? It didn't feel better, but you know it was better. You saw it here first. Cannon cart is overpowered. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I told my opponent to bring Skarmy or Bats for the second deck because I had Golem Mites and I was ready to take out those Bats with Golem Mites, but it didn't quite work. But just know that the interaction is there. For the third one, we're going to have Roll Delivery with Earthquake. I might have specifically requested for my opponent to bring Tesla. Don't rush. I'm freaking rushing. We're just testing the balance interactions. I'm going to go for this. He's going to put a Tesla down. Everything's going to be great. Let's get the Roll Recruit. It's taking so long. Right, which please take out that uh Oh It took out Tesla Yeah no I didn't feel like that was like an, a a huge edge for me. No. Me rushing the golem to draw his Tesla just to show you guys this interaction was not worth it. I'm gonna take like two thousand damage off my tower now. But know that the Tesla interaction is there. Baby dragon on baby dragon action. Holy heck. Oh, that's the new Splash Yard. Splash Yard with roll deliveries. That's that's going to be the money shot. It's going to be double elixir soon. We'll do a mini P.E.K.K.A. for that. And is that going to hit the Electro Wizard? Please hit. Yes. At least I got something going for me. Put your Tesla down, Code OJ. Put your Tesla down. Put it down. I'm trying to show the underground interaction. It exists. It, it, I 
got one wave. It exists. Believe me. The interaction for the Tesla exists. It helped this deck. Okay, looking back on this, I do think that it got the first wave on. Oh my gosh, I can roll delivery on there. Woo! We'll have to check out more interactions in my tech video that we'll be releasing very, very soon. Maybe not immediately, but we will be doing it eventually. I'm, I'm satisfied with this. He can take my tower if he wants. I don't even want to defend. I'm happy that I got the Tesla interaction out, even though it was kind of forced. It was forced, but it wasn't. I told him to bring it. I could have pushed a bit harder, but I'm pretty happy with that one interaction with the Tesla. I needed a real life example, and that's the closest thing to real life that you would get. Oh, dang it. Looks like he beat me. Two to one. I guess I have to use code OJ. Hope you guys enjoyed it. For the balance changes, we were not expecting this. I, where was the bomb tower, the magic archer, the wall breakers? Who knows? Maybe that'll be in the next month's balance changes, but that's going to be it for this video. We're still waiting for heal rework. I'm very excited for that. So that it, it might be coming eventually. It might not. I don't know, but that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more quality OJ.